How's it going everyone? My name is Amzo and welcome to the Butterfly Signs. This is a game I came across on Steam once again. It is an indie adventure game. However, this one is not horror. It's a detective based game. Basically, you play as a detective that's put in the shoes of a lone survivor and you're the only witness to a disastrous event. The only way for you to find out what actually happened in that event is by diving into your memories. And that is done by taking an experimental drug called Remix. Now with that being said, let's play. What fucking complications? Who are these people? What the hell is going on here? Why are they setting fire to the asylum? It's not part of the plan. It is necessary. There is no other choice. Do you realize what you're doing? Years of research, and you're gonna give up just like that? Sometimes a small evil is worth a greater good. Everything we've been doing for the last five years is a complete fraud. Ramix must be destroyed. She died because of it. I won't let my creation hurt anyone else. Not this time. It's a true evil. It is a necessary evil. Jack? Jack? Can you hear me? Where am I? Everything is fine, Jack. You're safe. Don't try to get up. You'll get a severe concussion and a large burn in your arm. How did I get here? Everything seems foggy. Who are you? You don't remember, do you? Let me introduce myself, then. One more time, I am Dr. Romanov, your attendant physician. We found you on the road to the Memority Asylum. Memority? Never heard of it. Yes, you did. You just don't remember. You were there, Jack. You came from the Asylum. They developed an experimental drug there. Ramos. I'm sorry for tying you down. Please understand, we know nothing about your intentions or who you are. People who lost their memory were treated at memority, but someone didn't like it. Someone set fire to the asylum and stole all the samples three days ago. This person killed the entire staff and every patient there. All of them, Jack. Every single one. The asylum was burned to the ground. Nobody could find anything, and then suddenly... Suddenly, you appeared. The I don't sole remember. survivor. I don't remember a thing of what you're talking about, or what is all this about? What happened to me? Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one, but first I wanna say... This guy looks like he's strapped to the damn torture device from Metal Gear Solid 1. I don't remember a thing of what you're talking about. Well... You were seriously injured, so your memory jumbled up. Your head is now in chaos. It's not easy to restore it now, but you are the only witness of everything that happened. What are you driving at, Doc? Do you suspect me? I have nothing to do with it! Do you suspect me? I was one of Ramak's leading developers. My colleagues and I attended a conference when the asylum was attacked. We couldn't get over the shock when we heard of it. And then you appeared, and all of my colleagues decided you were involved in that attack. It's some kind of misunderstanding! Let me go! I cannot. Now you are very important for the investigation. Why do you just let- why don't you just let me go? Where the heck are we? Hmm. I like this little, uh, menu system. It's kind of slick. Where the heck are we? I'm sorry, Jack, but I can't tell you everything. Ramex was supposed to be a revolution in memory treatment. A new milestone in the history of healthcare. Look, Jack, we are far 
Very far from civilization, and believe me, nobody will bother to come here. This is why we've chosen this place for Ramek's development. This asylum belongs to a very rich man, and he won't be happy hearing that the work of his life and millions of budget have gone to waste. But you can prove you are innocent. Ramex will help you. It will immerse you deep into your mind and restore everything that happened. Okay, pause for a second. You are in the asylum, so apparently your father decided you were too much to handle and tossed you into a fucking asylum. And now, when the asylum's gone down, your father's just like, hey, use my son as a fucking guinea pig. I don't care. Oh my god. Talk about what uh, rich people think of uh, human life. I'm not taking the drug. But you said it's experimental. I, I'm not gonna take it. I'm sorry, but you have no choice. Guessing the drug is finally kicking in. Oh man, it's like we're watching a, like an old-fashioned TV show that's going out of business. Or one of those old-school porno channels. It's all blurry. Okay, now we're now we're in my own blood system. Interesting. Interesting. Oh shit, we're outside. The road was blocked by a tree that fell after the last storm, so I had no choice but to continue on foot. I could see the asylum in the distance, and my way led through a long abandoned trail. A gentle wind was blowing from the west, and the sun was about to dip over the horizon. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. It's Just impossible. Everything is so real. Just look at this. This is so nice looking. For an indie game, this is, this is phenomenal. I love it. Although, let's, uh, let's keep on running. I feel the wind on my skin. Hear the rustle of grass as if I'm right here. No. All of this seems incredible. It's like I'm dreaming. Jack, focus. It's very important. Oh, wow, look at this place. I mean, just look at the grass alone. It looks slick. I like it. It cannot be so real. It's Abstergo all over again, guys. It's the new, uh... Damn, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> Shit. Animus. It's the new Animus. There we go. How long do we have to run? Good God. This is... This is ridiculous. Oh, there's no auto run function that I can find. Oh man, this is, it looks beautiful though. Oh shit. Jack, do you remember how long it took you to get to the asylum? Not sure, but judging by the distance, probably an hour. Jack, stop wasting time. What you are doing is very important to us and you. We should deal with it in the shortest time possible. Try to rewind your memories and get to the point where you're already approaching memory. Rewind? How? Focus, Jack. This is your brain. Your memories. Just let them guide you. What? That's kind of cool. I wish it was more visible. It looked like shards of glass kind of floating around. 
until you found the one that you needed. Oh, here we go, it's Memority. Okay. I guess we go this way, guys. Tall mountains on my right. Their snow caps shone brightly, reflecting the sunset light. It was foggy, but I could see Memority clearly. I remember this landscape. It widget itself deep into my memory many years ago when I visited Memority for the first time. Okay, guys. Oh, we're in finally. Nice. But look at this. It, it honestly reminds me a little bit of uh, Far Cry uh, 4. I remember. At the edge of the cliff, I saw a lone tree. It grew on the very edge and seemed just about to fall down, just like I could. But the mighty roots held its heavy crown firmly, and the tree remained still. Are you afraid of heights? No, but such a height could make anyone dizzy. Although this is kind of bland right here. You should have added some like snow pa uh, snow mounds or something. Oh wow, it's still beautiful though. I love all the fog and the and the snowflakes flying through. It's it's really nice. Oh shit! Oh, I thought it was like a, a wolf or something. It's a deer. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Oh man, I gotta run Later, all the way up the there. Later, the fog cleared a little. Kilometers, miles around, everything was fully open to my view. I saw a rusted sign. It told me I was almost there. Oh, can we zip line down? That'd be kind of slick. I would like that. Oh, shit. I remember a cableway on my right. The cables went very far, so it was unclear where it led. Got some coal mining place or something. A bucket. Man, what do you guys think of this game so far? I mean, it looks gorgeous. The god rays are phenomenal. I love it. The trees are well done. An old fountain, abandoned and overgrown with grass on my left. It probably pleased the eye with its beauty and crystal clear mountain water a long time ago, but time didn't spare it. Time spares no one at all. Yes, it's hard to argue with this. Finally, I approached Memority. I saw neither a high gate nor massive doors. I probably came to the backyard of the asylum. I had to get in somehow. Look how big this place is. Good God. How do you manage to do that? I don't remember. Or at least I don't know that yet. I need to find a way inside. I got dark real quick, you guys. Man, looks like shit in here. What the? Oh wow, look how nice this place looks. Like it looks creepy as hell. I got no flashlight or anything. And see, they even bust the lockers up so you can't get in them. Great. Oh, it's not letting me sprint either. I really don't know what to say. This is just, just looks really nice. Got the cadaver light. Whoa, what's this? Press the left mouse button to interact with objects. Okay. Left mouse button. Is there anything there? Or is it just a tutorial? I'm just saying you can. I think it's just a tutorial. Here we go. What's this? was that? Oh man, what I turn on, you guys? Do I have to check these uh, cadaver labs area? No. What the fuck is that? Oh hell no, this is a horror game. Shit. anything. Can I just 
this. Move backwards? Okay, looks like... Okay, that's as far as we can go. What the hell's up with that? Do I have to pull these things? What's going on? Missing something. It's so dark. Oh, what happened up there? I heard the hum of generators. Apparently, I'd switched on the spare power supply. Okay, so I did do the right thing. I'm going the right direction, I think. I, mean, I went over here before. Nothing. Maybe I gotta find the generators. Which I might have to go outside for. And these creepy ass hallways. God damn! I can run again. Good. Um, oh, here we go. There was an elevator that could lift me up to the asylum's back entrance, but it was de-energized. I had to turn the electricity back on. Oh, what? Oh, okay, cool. Shit. Maybe this? Okay, yep, that's it, guys. Oh my god, I spent so much time on this! Oh, that was crazy! Look at the, the scenery. Although it should have more, uh, eh, not necessarily. I was gonna say it needs more trees, but I mean, you're out in the boonies. Oh shit! What was that? Sonic is gonna break down. Up oh, there we go. When I reached the top, I saw the entire mountainside on which Memority stood. Remarkable, Jack. Have you already entered the asylum? I'm almost in. Okay. Oh. Shit. Stuff went down here. It's a mess. Well, they, they set everything on fire, didn't they? So wouldn't everything be burnt? Like, especially that shit. That should be, like, gone. Uh, I made a mess. I hit something. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, memories are coming back. Patrick, will there be some chaos recently with the security system? The security company from Berkers should arrive soon. In the meantime, I should I in the meantime, I changed the password on our spare computer, the one on the ground floor near the entrance. Now the password is memority2010. As soon as the company arrives, install the new system immediately. By the way, we finally got permission to use the internet on our work computers. The browser works just fine. You can just check it out yourself. Okay, so Memority 2010. We're going to have to memorize that. Oh, we got some shoes. Oh, nothing good. More shoes. The box. Can I crouch? Oh man, I was hoping I could take that thing. Okay, nothing good, guys. Whoa. Oh, here's the computer. Nice. Password. It even keeps it. 
It's they're using Bing, guys. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I need to use caps? No way. Oh my god. That's a really cool looking background. Oh no, it's cleared. Emails. Here we go. In relation to the change of the main security system, new passwords to access computers on the ground floor corresponds with the number of office where they are located. We strongly recommend that you change your password soon. Okay. Enter a URL to load. You know what? Just for shits and giggles. Will it load it? Oh my god, it does! <laughs> That's awesome! That's awesome. I like it. That's so cool. Okay, let's get out of there. Uh, computers allow you to read email transfer. <laughs> Most computers require a password you can find out the records. Okay, that is that's pretty funny, you guys. I like that. Oh, here you go. What's this? Record one: effect of Ramex on the human brain. This experiment was conducted by Kira Adams. So, patient 046 suffers from complex personality disorders. Three years ago, received a serious head injury resulting in a coma. After waking from it, the patient ceased to perceive the world around him adequately and lost most of his memories. We started the patient's treatment with the weakest set of protocols. He was given 35 milliliters of the drug intravenously. Okay, nice. Got the dirty toilets like they have in every horror game. Ooh, fire extinguisher. The extinguisher accidentally rolled here after it began to hit the bow. So someone shot it. Someone put it here on purpose. The fire extinguisher uses the fire extinguisher was used to put out the fire. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Wait, what's this? More dirty toilets. Ooh, what happened to this guy? Can I take his gun? The killer was eager to avenge the victim. It was something personal. The victim put up active resistance, which resulted in such mutilation. The victim injured his face during his fall. Hmm. I'm going go with that one. What is this? The gun. The gun belongs to the victim. He tried to defend himself with it. The gun was used for the murder. He was shot. The gun was planted to make it look like a suicide. Ooh. The victim fell and hit his head on the wash band. The victim was washing it on the victim. Yeah. What is going on with this? It's so insane. Am I like not getting it right or something? The victim was not killed here. The body was dragged. Now it looks like the body was. Uh, the victim was killed right on sight. The victim was seriously injured, and he crawled here on his own. There we go. Oh. Oh, maybe I gotta get the right one. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. I gotta get the right one. When I get the right one, it goes pushing. Okay, uh. Okay, so that was an incorrect concentration. Oh, did I screw that up? There it goes. The gun belongs to the victim. He tried to defend himself with it. Oh, this is really cool, you guys. It seems that the victim was a security guard. He was killed by several shots in the back. He fell and hit the wash basin. One bullet apparently ricocheted and hit the fire extinguisher. Okay, that's so cool. Oh man, it's kind of like the um, the Telltale series of Batman. We have to like uh, get the right uh, linkage. I like it. Okay, let's uh, keep on going, guys. Ooh, here we go. Door. Oh, it's locked. Ooh, we got one open. Is there another one? Ooh, I didn't like the sound of that. Uh, we got some comb purses. Can we take the purse? We cannot. And an empty one. Okay. Oh my god, you guys. Going into the creepy. I wish it was brighter. Okay. Here we go. Oh, shit. The shadow of someone working. It's so dark. Will that work? 
Wrong password. Okay. Uh, well, that's a real letdown, guys. Ooh, here we go. Nope, can't see those documents. Okay, uh, what one is this? Oh, three. What is that? Maybe that? Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna exit this. I don't know the password. I don't know. I don't know the password. So we're gonna continue on. Oh! The shadows! Okay. Oh, that one's locked! Is there anything over here? Oh yeah, hit Y. There's a Q. What? Oh my god, it's like a... Look at that, that is... Okay, looks like I can go up there, okay. Ooh, read document records. Okay, here we go. See, you guys can read that one. Okay. Let's continue going. Um. Shit. Ooh, what is this? Oh, so there was like a shadow. What the fuck was that? What was the main activity conducted in the Morty besides Remix? Where are other drugs? Where are we? How is this? What was the main activity conducted at Memority? The focus was on Ramex. We all put our efforts on it. Oh, man. Oh, we got a door broken down, guys. The, f the door fell off due to poor hinges. No, somebody laid the door. No, oh, okay. Looks like someone kicked it. This door leads to the abandoned part of the building. It was firmly closed for more than a year, but it got knocked out from the inside. It is very strange because there shouldn't be anyone in there. Who is this? To all personnel in the memory, these rooms are off limits. They were abandoned back in 1960 and are not subject to reconstruction. Enter them is prohibited and may be dangerous. Okay. I guess we're going in, guys. Oh, shit. Run! What was the part of the asylum abandoned? Was this part of the asylum abandoned? Yes, a long time ago, and for some reason, they didn't want to rebuild it. Ooh, okay. Shit, what was that? Bags were forgotten by builders? Mercenaries left these bags, they didn't... Bags with equipment? Probably left after the attack. It means mercenaries pass through here. Okay, yeah, because there's a bunch of guns and everything. What? You should pick it up, buddy. Okay. Shit. Is there anything else over here? Doesn't look like it, but we're going to continue looking real quick. Oh, here we go. We can go downstairs. Oh, my God. There's more clues. What was that? Oh shit, we can look outside. Look at that. It's gonna be cold as hell. Nobody set foot here for a long time. There was no mercenaries here. Oh no. Shit, I screwed that up. Did staff have free access there? No. As far as I know, entering this place was prohibited. Okay. Let's try it again. Nobody set foot here for a long time. There was no mercenaries here. Damn it! I did the wrong one again! Okay, here we go. The mercenaries entered. mercenaries entered the asylum here, right through this door. No wonder no one noticed them. Nobody has set foot in this place for a long time. Okay, can we go through it? No. Okay, so they went over here. They played tic-tac-toe. And they came up. Okay, uh, let's see here, let's see here. Anything over on this side? No, okay. They left their stuff right here. The 
that came barging in through here. They kicked the door out. Uh, what was the main activity? Oh, wait, no. Uh, How important was this study? Important enough to annihilate the entire asylum for it. Alright you guys, I'm gonna end the gameplay right here. What did you guys think of the butterfly signs? If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Otherwise, I thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.